Hi everyone! We keep discussing how online travel agencies work. In our previous videos, I've covered an OTA structure and a booking engine. And now, let's talk about the way OTAs make money – commissions. My name is Andrei Chabotarov, and I'm Travel Technology Competence Leader at Alticsoft. And today, I'll explain what a commission engine is and how it can work in an OTA. So, how do travel agencies make money? Well, they distribute travel products and charge commissions. Simple as that. These products are supplied by airlines, hotels, tour operators. And also, OTAs can resell products getting them from larger OTAs like Expedia or wholesalers like Hotelbeds. In any of those cases, suppliers sell products for their base fares. And then OTAs add commissions on top of them. Right. Commissions come in many flavors. A customer may see a service fee included in their total price. Or you can hide a commission as a markup and a traveler won't see them. Or sometimes you would see discounts that are applied to commissions or even base fares. But ultimately, it's still the same thing. If you're an OTA, you basically have two ways to handle commissions. Have a flat rate or have adjustable commissions. Let's figure out how these are different. The simplest way to handle commissions is to have a flat rate. Flat rate is a standard commission size that applies to all products. For instance, you got 10% for hotel sales, or you charge 20 bucks for each flight. Flat rates are sometimes required by supplier agreement, and you can't do anything about it. But there are way too many problems with using flat rates. They all come down to the fact that you can't be flexible with your prices. And if you aren't flexible, you can't win the competition. A quick example. You sell a direct flight from London to Berlin, and all your competitor OTAs have the very same flight for $300. If your flat rate makes it 315, you aren't going to win this deal, and you want your commissions to be lower. But if you sell complex itinerary from London to, let's say, St. Helena, and nobody has it, you want your commissions to be higher. And as you've guessed, OTAs use specific software to adjust commissions. A commission engine allows revenue managers to adjust pricing rules, considering various factors. And once these rules are configured, the engine will be calculating the final price the travelers see. And boy, there could be many rules and factors that impact them. Let's just give a few. Supplier. You manage to negotiate a great deal with this hotel in Amsterdam? You have better base price than your competitors? Great! You can adjust commission and make it higher for the supplier and still be competitive. Traffic source. You promote your products on meta search engine like Kayak, where people look for cheapest deal? Let's make commission a little bit lower for this marketplace and upsell ancillaries like insurance or extra luggage. And on the contrary, let's make it slightly higher for loyal people who come directly to your website. Dates. You expect higher demand for Lisbon flights this summer? Bump a commission up. Size of a deal. A user looks for a complex bundle tour for a family with kids? Let's make a discount. I can go on and on. You can consider flight class, destination, one-way round-trip flights, a whole lot of things. So, revenue managers consider multiple factors and add rules using a commission engine. But here's a problem. What if you have hundreds of rules and they start conflicting with each other? Imagine that one of your rules says that flights from London to Milan must go with $5 discount on Skyscanner. Another rule says that flights to Milan by Ryanair must go with $8 commission. And to make matters worse, Let's say you sell connected flights with $6 commission. And now imagine that a traveler wants to fly from London to Tel Aviv by Ryanair with a connection in Milan, and they find your deal on Skyscanner. What should the engine do? How should it calculate the price the traveler sees? A good commission engine should detect them automatically and allow revenue managers to define how to combine these rules. For instance, they must be able to make one rules outweigh the others, or average commissions, or maybe sum them up, or any other type of flexible combination of rules. You got the idea. These are the basics of a commission engine in a nutshell. But some of you may have noticed the elephant in the room. Right. How to define exact commission size in the first place? In most cases, revenue managers do their research and try calculating the best commissions. The rates should be competitive enough and still make money. Then, these rates should be baked in rules via Commission Engine interface. By the way, having a user-friendly interface is also very important. Revenue managers must be able to constantly update these rules, remove them, or even add new ones. 
market conditions are changing and the OTA must adapt. But it's still a lot of manual work and a reactive rather than proactive way to managing the revenue. You have to check prices of your competitors every day, or even buy some historical data from meta search engines or data providers or scrappers, and then calculate and recalculate your commissions. Can we automate that? Yes, let's step into the territory of advanced commission engines. These ones use business intelligence to analyze how successful your current rates are. For instance, you see that the number of customers that are coming from paid adverts is falling. Maybe reduce your commission by a buck or two. Or you see that your deals from London to Milan are booming. Let's increase the price. You can automate some changes to the rules as well. Like your engine can react to demand by increasing or decreasing some commissions. But this is still not enough. Can we make the engine even better? Now about technological singularity. Your OTA can generate a lot of data. You get prices and their changes from suppliers. You have search history by destinations. You have a track record of all closed deals. User behavior data. And on top of that, you can consider external factors like weather or local events and destinations. Anything. Once you start generating a lot of data, you can put it in use and start predicting some things. And here's where machine learning can help. For instance, you can forecast when the demand will rise or fall down. And then you can adjust it to your rules to take advantage of these changes. Or you can try predicting the commission sizes themselves that are competitive but generate enough revenue. Eventually, with machine learning, you will be able to automate some commission operations, or at least create a powerful analytics platform that will help revenue managers make the right decisions. Obviously, there won't be a full autonomous commission engine. You still need talented revenue managers. But in the future, machine learning can become a real support to humans. Great, let's sum things up. A commission engine can be as complex as you make it. You can stick to flag trades and forget about dedicated engine at all, or you can create a powerful platform that will consider multiple factors and their combinations. And finally, you can augment your engine with business intelligence and machine learning. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And check my previous OTA explainers if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.